Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, sorry about my voice, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with me. I've been sick like this for the last week and I wasn't gonna film, but then I thought, how much longer am I not gonna film for? It's driving me crazy. So we are filming today, sorry about the voice, but I have a video for you. I was sent some products in the mail, uh, Makeup Revolution products, which is so exciting for me because in Canada, this brand is really hard to find. I've honestly never even tried anything before from this brand. I got this stuff from this awesome website. So if you're Canadian, listen up. Um, there's a website called orabelle.ca and basically you go on and they stock products that are really hard to find in Canada. So Morphe, they have Makeup Revolution, they have LA Girl Pro, Milani. Milani's a little bit easier to find here in Canada now. Um, Real Techniques also, you can kind of find them at Walmarts, but they stock a lot of brands that are harder to find in Canada. So it's really exciting and the prices are super affordable. They don't like raise the price. It's free shipping within Canada if you spend over $40, which again, amazing. And it's a great website. I think it's awesome. So basically they sent me this product to test out. I've only used, I've used the blush and the concealer and I am like mind blown. Uh, Makeup Revolution, totally affordable brand. This concealer, it's the, it's my favorite concealer I've ever used, ever. I like it better than Tarte Shape Tape. And again, it's like $10 on that website. And their blush, they also sent me their matte blush. And I'm, uh, again, obsessed with it. Every time I wear it, people tell me how nice my cheeks look. So affordable, amazing. So let's just get into the video. Let's do a look, and that will be it. So if you'd like to see how I create some sort of look, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Please keep watching. So I was also sent this by Iconic London. I'm gonna test it out today. This is the Prep Set and Glow. So this is a water mist, and basically you're supposed to shake it well for an even glow. You're supposed to apply this before your makeup. It's like a primer, and then you're supposed to set your makeup with it after. So basically, I'm just gonna try this out today. I've seen this all over the internet. It has a really strong smell, perfumey kind of, and the mister on it is not super fine, so I don't know how setting my makeup's gonna work with this, but we'll try it. Okay, so for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hello Happy. This is in the shade 3. Usually I apply the Pixi Peach Corrector. I'm going to skip that step today to show you how great this Makeup Revolution Concealer is. So I was sent two shades. I have C7 and C6. I've been using... C6 is definitely lighter, obviously, than C7. So I'll show you if you're just kind of curious... Um, of the color difference, I'll show you. The bottom is C6 and the top is C7. So what I've been doing is I kind of been mixing the two of them together and that gives me the perfect color when I mix both of them together. If I was super tan, I probably would just use C7 by itself. And then if I was just pale, I would just go in with C6 by itself. I absolutely love this concealer. To me, it's full coverage, but it's not as drying as the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so I've been obsessed with this Langholm powder. It's brand new. It's called Long Time No Shine Mattifying Powder. It is so good underneath the eye. It's like, it's amazing. It has silica built into it, so I think that's what makes it kind of smooth. So I'm just dipping my wet sponge here, my damp sponge, into this powder. And I'm just going to press the powder underneath my eye. I definitely like this powder better than the um, Too Faced, the peach one I was using. This one does not change the color of your concealer whatsoever. I find the Too Faced one does change it a little bit. And because I get super oily all on my nose, I'm using this powder all across it. And this will just help from really making me oily throughout the day. To add color kind of back into my face because it's looking kind of lifeless, I'm gonna go in with the Derma Blend. This is their Intense Powder Camo in Natural 25N. I just use it very lightly, not a lot because it does give you coverage and I already have a full coverage going on. So I just take a little bit and I like to just press it all over the face. Again, it adds a tiny bit more coverage, not that I really need it. I just, you know, I do like that flawless complexion look but it just adds some life back into my skin. So I'm just gonna warm up my face using my Nude by Nature bronzer. This is on the Smashbox uh, Angled Blush Brush. I love this brush for applying bronzer. Okay, so next I'm using this Makeup Revolution blush. It is beautiful, it is matte, there is no shimmer at all in this. This is in the shade Fusion and it is beautiful and it's so pigmented you need to like legit tap once kind of like dust off 
and apply. It gives you the nicest color to your cheeks. It's a really nice flush. If you find sometimes that your, um, your bronzer and your blush are looking a little bit too low, you can go back in with either your translucent powder or you know whatever your face powder was and kind of take it on a sponge and kind of do a line like so. And it kind of helps crisp everything up. Okay, so next I'm trying out this. I have not touched it yet. This is called the Makeup Revolution Soph Highlighting Palette. I guess this is in collaboration with somebody. I really don't know who, but someone named Soph, I think. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Could be, though. So there's so many shades in here. I've not tried this. They're super, super pigmented. I actually think that these would be really nice, too, as eyeshadows, so I might actually experiment with that, too. But... Very, very nice reflective shades, like super, super nice. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of this corner shade right here. This is the Smashbox uh, Precise Highlighting Brush. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to add a little bit too of this gold shade. Let's try this shade out as well. Oh, that's even more pigmented. Before I get into the eyes, I'm going to try to set my face with this guy again. So this is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. It's supposed to give you a nice radiant finish. Because the mister on this is not super fine, I didn't want to do it after I applied my eye makeup because things could run. I don't really know what's going to happen. I didn't want to ruin anything. So let's just see. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows very quickly using the Coastal Sense Powder. I just brush all my hairs down. And then I go in with this powder. This is on the Quo Liner Brow Brush. Taking the light brown shade and just start to kind of fill them in. So now I'm just adding a little bit of the Benefit, the Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 3. So I like to just kind of flick up the front and then kind of smooth out the tail. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eye with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I really love this eyeshadow primer. It comes on a nice little wand and it's beautiful. Holds your eyeshadow in place all day long. Okay, so today we're trying out the... I'm excited for this. The Makeup Revolution. This is the Tammy X. So I think this is another collaboration, I think. But this is the Tropical Paradise Palette. It looks amazing. The only thing I don't like is how the colors are on this little pull away thing and probably this will get thrown out so I won't even know what colors I'm using but it looks real nice and I'm real excited to try it. So, Okay, so first I'm going to set my whole eye with this shadow right here called Coconut Cream. I'm going to go into the crease with the Real Techniques. This is, I don't even, this is called the Deluxe crease brush. I'm going to take this corner shade up here which is called Rich Soil. So it's like a brown kind of taupey brown color. So I'm going to start to buff this into the crease. I'm just going to warm up the crease with this shade down here. It's called Isle of Spice. So this one has a little bit more warmth to it and I'm just going to add a little bit kind of on top of it just to give it a little bit more warmth. This is a Joe Fresh eyeshadow smudging brush. I'm just going to mix the two and just kind of start to smudge it underneath the lash line here. And I, I love how there's a big mirror in this palette. I don't know why I'm just realizing this right now. Obviously, I'm just not with it today. But there's a huge mirror, which is perfect for applying your makeup. On a MAC 216 brush, I'm going to take, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm going to take this really, it's a kind of like a darker brown shade. It's matte still, so we're going to go in with that. Just a little bit of that, and I'm just going to work it into the crease. I'm not taking it any higher. So it's just going right in the crease just to add that dimension to the eye. I'm really liking this really gold shade here called Golden Sand. So we're going to take this. But I think we're going to probably need some setting spray with it. So we're going to take some setting spray. And we're going to try to apply this really gold shade, which I'm really excited to try here.
and it's really pigmented. It's super nice, super, super nice. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this sparkly pink color right here. I've also wet my brush again. So we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna start to pack this on into the inner corner. Yes, so oh, pigmented. These sparkly shades do need some sort of like fixing agent to them, but when you put the fixing stuff on, it is like magic. I'm gonna take a little bit of that pink shade as well and add it to the inner corner of my eye. I got this liner the other day from an event I attended from VDL. Oh my god. So it's a Korean brand. This is the best matte black eyeliner I've ever used in my entire life. Highly recommend it. I'm going to do a video on all the stuff that I picked up trying them out. But this eyeliner is fantastic. So I'm just going to go in and create a wing. I'm just going to take a little bit of this black matte shadow from the palette. And the same little smudging brush I used earlier. And I'm just going to connect the black down here is at the very corner of the eye so that like that way it looks like the eyeliner and the shadow on the bottom are just really connected and there's no disconnect between the two i'm also just going to take a burt's bees eyeliner this is called soft black little pencil here and also i'm just gonna and i'm just going to run this into the lower lash line i'm just applying some stila huge lash mascara just a little bit because we're going to be applying false eyelashes so just a little bit will do. For my lashes today, I'm gonna to go in with Sally Lashes in the style teaser. On my bottom lashes, I'm just gonna be adding Clinique. This is the workout mascara. I really like this for the bottom lash because I know it does not smudge or budge. I'm gonna line my lip with a NYX pencil called Nude Pink. For my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Chibi Chibi. What the hell? This is by Kiss Pro NY. And the name is Chi B Chi Beak Hebe. Chibi Hebe? I don't know. Something like that. Chibi Chibi Hebe. Because my eye is so powerful, I want my lip to be pretty neutral. So this is a really soft pink matte shade. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the NYX Duo Chromatic. This is the Spring It On lip gloss which ties nice into the eye because it has a little bit of gold reflect. And then to finish off this look, I'm going to go back in with the Iconic Spray. And I'm actually going to spray it all over my chest, my shoulders. It's a very wet spray. And when it dries down, it's kind of tacky. But like when it dries on your face, it goes totally matte. But at first, it does feel tacky. So I'm going to spray that on. And then I'm going to pick back up my little Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. I'm going to go in with some highlighting, these three corner shades here. This would be very beautiful on the eye, this palette as well. And I'm just going to highlight my collarbone. Then take my little wet sponge and kind of just make sure everything is just blended really nicely together. But look how nice that is. Okay, so this will be the end of my video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much to Orabelle.ca for sending me all the Makeup Revolution products. I'm letting you guys know right now, Makeup Revolution is an amazing, amazing, phenomenal brand. Highlighting palette was amazing. Eyeshadow palette, quality. Um, blush, I absolutely love. And the concealer is the best concealer I've ever used. This is the first time I've tried their stuff and I just wanna go on and order everything because I think it's unbelievable. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with orabelle.ca so if you're Canadian stay tuned for that I'll be posting all the details in an Instagram post if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you are check me out all right yeah so thank you so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe as always and until next time I will see you guys later thanks for watching